Brooklyn Brienne here from Hooked on Homemade Happiness. Welcome back to my channel. Today in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to crochet the diamond stitch. This is an intermediate level stitch. There are some more difficult um, stitches in here. There will be some um, treble crochet and front post treble crochet and some two together stitches. Um, so it is more of an intermediate level stitch. I will be showing you how to do all of those more difficult stitches in the tutorial. This pattern would be really great for a blanket or especially I think it would look great for a pillow um, or maybe even a scarf or some detail on a sweater. For this tutorial I'll be using worsted weight acrylic yarn and an H 5 millimeter crochet hook. You can definitely use any weight yarn that you like and just change your hook size accordingly. So for this stitch you will need to chain a multiple of 4 plus 3. So I'm going to be chaining 19 so 16 is my multiple of 4 and then I just add 3 more to that. So I will chain 19. So here's my starting chain of 19, a multiple of 4 plus 3. And for row one, we're just going to do a row of single crochet. So I'm going to start in the second chain from my hook. So counting on these back bumps here, one, two, I'll insert my hook into the second chain. I always like to use the back bumps of my chain. And then I'm going to single crochet across. So here is row one, just a row of single crochet, and row two is going to be a row of double crochet. So I'm going to chain two, the chain two does not count as a stitch. Turn and I will just double crochet in each stitch across. Okay, so here is row two with a row of double crochet. Now row three, we will chain one, and turn and in this row this is where we're going to start doing those post stitches and this is probably the most difficult row of the whole pattern so once you get back past this row it's a little bit more of um, smooth sailing so when we're doing our post stitches we're going to be working into row one the row below the previous row into these single crochets here so we're going to work our first post treble crochet in the third stitch from row one. So one, two, three, there's our third stitch. This is where my first front post treble crochet is going to go. So to front post treble I'm going to yarn over twice. I'm going to insert my hook around the post of the single crochet, the third one. One, two, three, around that entire post. Now I'm going to yarn over and pull up my loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. There's my first front post treble. Now I'm going to single crochet in the next three stitches and I'm going to make sure to not crochet into the one that this stitch would have gone into. I need to make sure to skip that first one here and the next three. So right here is my next single crochet. One, two, three. Now I'm going to do a front post treble crochet two together. So when I do my front post uh, treble two together, I'm going to first work into the same stitch that the other one was worked into. So I'm going to yarn over twice and I'm going to insert my hook around the post of this same stitch from before. And then yarn over, pull up a loop, and yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And because it's a two together, I'm going to keep these last two uh, loops on my hook. Now I'm going to skip three. The second leg of my front post two together, I'm going to skip three and do it in the next. So one, two, three. Here's my next one. So I'm going to yarn over twice, 
Let's see, make sure I did that right. One, two, three, right here. And then yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And then yarn over, pull through all three. So now you can kind of see that diamond shape here that we'll be getting. Now I'm going to single crochet in the next three. Making sure, so here is where my next stitch would have gone into. I'm going to skip that and my next single crochet will go here. Because otherwise you're going to start increasing and you don't want to increase the number of stitches. So there you go, right there. Three single crochet. One, two, and three. Now I'm going to repeat the same front post treble two together. So I'm going to yarn over twice. I'm going to work around that same stitch from before. The second leg from the last one I just did. So yarn over twice, right here. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two and leave those last two loops on your hook. Now I'm going to skip three and work my next uh, front post treble in the next. So skip one, two, three. Here's my next. So I'm going to yarn over twice. Insert my hook here into the next one. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Whoops. Yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through all three. Now single crochet in the next three, making sure to skip this right here where my next stitch would have gone. So right here is where I'm going to insert my hook. One, two, three. I'm going to repeat that again, my front post treble two together. Yarn over twice. Work it around the same stitch as before. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Now skip three. One, two, three. And here in the next, Yarn over twice. Insert your hook around that single crochet. Pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over, pull through three. And then single crochet in the next three. So I'm going to skip this one here. And in the next one, one, two, three. So continue repeating that all the way across until you have just two stitches left. And I'm going to front post treble around this same stitch here from my last one. So yarn over twice around the same stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Now, I will single crochet in my last stitch. Whew, there's row three. Kind of a doozy, but the rest are easier, I promise. So now the next row is just a double crochet row. So chain two and, oops, and turn and double crochet in each stitch across. Okay, so here is our double crochet row. And now for the next row, we will chain one and turn. I'm going to single crochet in the first two stitches. And now we're going to do another front post two together, front post treble two together. We're going to first work our first leg on this one, and then we're going to um, work our second leg around this group of this front post treble crochet from the last round row. So I'm going to yarn over twice, insert my hook around this treble crochet, 
yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. I'm going to leave those last two loops on my hook and now my second one is going to go around this group here. So I'm going to yarn over twice and I'm going to insert my hook around the entire bundle, I guess you could say, that entire group. I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through all three. And now you can kind of see our first diamond, yay! All right, I'm going to single crochet in the next three. So I'm going to skip this stitch here where my next stitch would have gone. And here is my next one, two, three. We're going to repeat this across. So now I'm just going to be kind of working my front post treble in each of these corners, I guess you could say, of each diamond. So I'm going to yarn over twice, I'm going to go back to this one, insert my hook around the entire group of stitches, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then work that unfinished treble. And now here I'm going to do the second part here. So yarn over twice, and here. And then finish up that stitch. There you go. Now we will single crochet in the next three. One, two, three. And my next front post treble two together, yarn over twice, I go back, so I'm going to be connecting these next two corners of my diamonds together, insert my hook underneath that, hole. oops, see what happened there, try that again, yarn over twice, there we go, and then pull up a loop, and then leave those last two loops on your hook, and then here the next one, Yarn over twice, that whole section there, pull up a loop, and finish off your stitch. And then single crochet in the next three. And here I'm into the last little section, so I'm going to do another front post treble two together. So grab that first section and work the first half of my decrease or two together. Yarn over twice and then I'm going to grab this last treble crochet there and finish up the stitch. And now we should have be able to single crochet in the last three stitches. So there is row five, and then now for row six, it will be another double crochet row. So chain two and turn, and then double crochet in each stitch across. So there is row six with just our row of double crochet. Now for row seven, chain one and turn. And now I'm going to be starting off with a front post treble crochet around this bundle of stitches right here. So I'm going to yarn over twice and then insert my hook around this two together stitch and work that treble crochet. Now single crochet in the next three stitches, remembering to skip that stitch that this would have gone into. So one, two, three. Now I will front post two together using both of these as kind of where my legs of my front post two together is going to go to create that diamond shape. So yarn over twice, insert my hook here around this two together, and then pull up my loop and then make that unfinished treble, leaving two hooks on the hook, two hoops, loops on the hook, 
and then the next leg will go here yarn over twice insert your hook here and yarn over pull up a loop pull through two pull through two and then pull through all three to finish up that two together now single crochet in the next three Now again, you're going to repeat this across the row. So yarn over twice, insert a hook here, and then make that unfinished treble. And then here's where our next one's going to go. And then finish up that stitch, pull through all three. And now single crochet in the next three. And we're going to repeat this across our row. So here I did three, now I'm going to again front post two together. Just making that diamond shape. Oops, there we go. Almost finished that off, there we go. Yarn over twice. And then here's our last one here. And then finish up that stitch. Now single crochet in the next three. And then we're just going to do one front post treble in this space here. So right down here, do that last front post treble. So now it can be another stitch, so go ahead and finish it. And then single crochet in the last stitch. So there you have row seven. Now for the pattern, you're just going to continue to repeat those four rows. So for the pattern repeat, you'll just continue repeating rows four through seven. So this section here, four through seven, so you have a row of solid double crochet, and then you have that single crochet row with these front post trebles here, and then you have another row of double crochet, just solid double crochet, and then you have row seven with these front post trebles here. So continue repeating rows four through seven until this is the length that you are looking for. Here I've repeated rows four through seven one more time just to give a better look at what the stitch looks like worked up. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and find some really fun ways to use the diamond stitch in a future project. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time.